Hello, I'm Toby Samples from Extruded Element LLC. Extruded Element LLC is a company that is enabling design innovation with a new technology I created. The new technology is I call Extruded Elements. Extruded Elements are, are seen on extrudedelement.com as these little pieces that are a, a geom geometric shape with functional hooks on the ends. These functional hooks can be interlocked with its, the same geometry and to form a large array, a large matrix of interlocking extruded elements. These hooks are neither male nor female, so the single profile, single geometry, can be reproduced and, and interlocked with itself. A physical example of that, one of my first 3D printed prototypes, is seen in this here plastic. It's a loose fitting example so people could play with it and take it apart. But you can see it forms a lightweight array of, and a structure which can be interlocked with itself. Another example, one of the first examples was that these extruded elements can take on any profile. That was a flat sheet of extruded elements. But in this case, you can do any arbitrary complexity with extruded elements. Here's an airfoil. This airfoil is, is comprised of many small extruded elements interlocked with each other. So that say in a model airplane, if you're a model airplane designer, you encounter a crash and, and your, your wing just shatters or gets a puncture. Well, you can take off the wounded part of the plane. You can go back to like a 3D printer and you can refabricate that portion, uh, put your fiberglass laminate over top of it and uh, back in business without having to reproduce the whole thing. Um, extruded elements are, are very useful in things, that, as you see, from light weighting to also things that might be in the, in the case of barriers, impact barriers. It, barriers could maybe be as long as a football field, and you only want to replace a localized region of that barrier, and, and even lo more localized than a, a four-foot segment like you might see along a highway, but it, as localized as a head impact area or something where you've designed the extruded element to absorb the head impact and you've repaired that extruded element region so it can perform just as expected the first time around. For the, the uh, civil engineers, this might end up be used in s soil reinforcements. If you can drop an extruded element down into some soil, interlock it with its buddies, it could form an easy uh, barrier to help uh, prevent soil erosion or movement and uh, even behave in a way to uh, uh, reinforce that and make a, a, um, essentially a composite out of the soil. In space travel, a lot of people are thinking about, um, you know, going to Mars and uh, planning our, our routes there. So when you go on into a very long, narrow ship, you might want to have something that has a very high aspect ratio in shipment, but then you can cut it to length on site and assemble it into a very wide array. Perhaps you have a truck bed that, that has a certain square footage. Well, that truck bed can be loaded up with extrusion lengths of of extruded elements cut to length on site and assembled into something that's a hundred, two hundred times the square foot of that truck bed that the shipment came in on. An unexpected innovation here at the bottom of extrudedelement.com. I'm expecting the engineers, designers, and artists to come up with their own applications for extruded elements and uh, hopefully dust off your 3D printers a little bit if you have one or even you just need a PC if you follow the instructions here at the top of extrudedelement.com. You can follow the workflow up to the point of simulating and breaking up an object into extruded elements. You don't even need a 3D printer, simply a computer, the one you're sitting at listening, watching this video on. So I want to share two of my really exciting projects before I discuss the commercialization. These are uh, speaking to people that are passionate about making. Uh, my first is I love water. I really love water. I love being near water, around water, and on water. 
and I created a stand-up paddleboard design. I just drew out a CAD model. Uh, I found some profiles online, like stencils of surfboards, and uh, I intersected... I intersected extruded elements with that that CAD geometry of the stand-up paddleboard. And uh, just using a FlashForge Creator Pro of 5 inches by 8 inches print bed space, I'm able to cre create very large objects with structural integrity. The reason why I created a stand-up paddleboard with this is for this reason because you can see through it. I really like the idea of glass bottom boats. I went on one as a kid in Florida. So I wanted to have a, essentially a glass bottom stand up paddle board. So I'll have a facing of vinyl with some support in the foot areas of carbon fiber sheets and, and then I will essentially have a see-through stand up paddle board. That's really exciting. Exciting project number two is one that may speak more to the artistic side of people. Uh, my late father, uh, he built the company I work for as my day job. And uh, in honor of him, um, my niece, an artist, had a bust created of him, multiple busts. And I will use photogrammetry, which is nothing more than taking 30 or like four dozen photos around his head with my smartphone, and then uploading the pictures. And pho photogrammetry software, free online, will convert that into a point cloud, 3D point cloud. The point cloud I then convert into an STL file, the files that we like to work with in 3D printing worlds. And I will use the workflow that is shown on the extrudedelement.com website to generate a much larger version of this bust. I would like to have a very cool um, memorial for him at the company he made. And I'm very excited about that. So on to commercialization. Uh, this is a US patent pending technology. It has protection in the US realm. And um, as you can imagine, uh, if you were to commercialize this, in other words, 3D printers, they're relatively slow. And if you wanted to commercialize on this, you would simply need to de design a die. A die with an engineered profile where you've really thought about the material you're using, how those hooks will interlock with each other, and um, certainly how you're going to face it. If it's going to be a core, that'll be a reinforcement for face sheets or a platform or a see-through wall which will let light cascade through, or anything along those lines. Uh, we at Extruded Element LLC have a lot of experience with uh, processes of extrusion, uh, specifically with polymers, plastics, and rubber. And, and also, we have experience with, uh, three, with finite element analysis of, of uh, mechanical characterization of products. So uh, before you even get your die created, the extrusion die, which has that extruded element profile, we would be able to assist with the simulation of the product, all the, all the expected loads that it would go through, and you would be able to predict its performance much before you even uh, cut a piece of metal. So on the extrudedelement.com web page, you can also go to the About Us page and learn a little bit about me what inspires me, and uh, it's kind of written in a letter to you, and also you go to About Software, and that's, I kind of hit it because I don't like a dense web page. About Software contains the, in, the explicit instructions for uh, extruded elements and how to, how to make them happen on your PC and it, how to actually take it into a physical shape, and I believe... Yes, this, this example is in a Frisbee, if you wanted to make a Frisbee. I'd like to see someone uh, with a few extra hours of print time make a Frisbee that's three feet in diameter or something, but be safe about it. 
Anyways, that's what I'm excited about. That's what I'm excited to talk to you about. Uh, please head over to uh, Reddit. Reddit is a great interface for discussing and showing off your creations with extruded elements. Subreddit is extruded element. And uh, those links can be found at the bottom or anywhere on any of the pages of extrudedelement.com. Also contact and share through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, whatever your preferred interface is. Thank you so much for listening. I sincerely appreciate you, the makerspace engineering communities, technical communities. You're so inspiring as to all of this. Thank you.